All right, whilst this white cross may appear initially a little bit tricky, I don't think it's too bad. Um, what we can do is hold it from this angle and do a B prime, R prime to solve those two. Now what we're going to do is actually insert this one. And whilst we're inserting this one, we're actually going to be turning this edge, this good edge into a bad edge, which isn't ideal, but it makes the finger tricks a lot easier. So I guess the move optimal way to solve the cross from this position would be to do D F U F prime uh, F U F R prime, which is five moves, but that's a lot slower than doing something like R prime F R D R prime F R. Um, you can do that really quickly. Um, so that's kind of how I would do that. So the first F to L pair that I see, uh, maybe these two, so I can solve them like this. into that slot. Then the next ones I see are these two. So I'd rotate and solve these into the back slot, like so. Then I've got these two, like that. And then these two. Then OLL. And then PLL, G permutation. Okay, let's find our white cross pieces. So we've got this one and this one, this one and this one. And we can do something like D R prime to get these two solved. And then D F L2 prime D to finish it off. Now I've got this easy F2 L pair in the back left here. So I'm going to insert them like that. Then probably what I would do with these two. So Perhaps what I'll do is rotate like this and then insert them like so. Then I've got this corner and this this edge, uh, this corner and this edge. So I can probably just insert it uh, like we would in using the like we would using the beginner's method. Then I've got this edge and this corner, which I can insert into the back left like that. Then I have OLL and a G permutation. Okay, on this third scramble, um, looking around the cube, there are a few different options, but I think, again, the easiest thing to do is probably the white cross, but I want you to just pay attention to, I suppose, how I finger trick this cross. So I'm going to do, start out holding it like this, and then I'm going to do D R prime D, and my, my hand's going to end up like this. And then I've got these two, which I need to insert. So I can insert them both without doing the regrip, like by doing L2 and then F2 like that. And then once I start F2L, I'll do a regrip to kind of put my hands back to a neutral position. But I guess doing a cross without a regrip means you can execute it reasonably quickly. Um, so the first F2L pair that I see is this corner and this edge. So I can solve those. Then I've got these two here, which I can insert into this slot, like so. Then I would probably rotate and solve this this edge in this corner like that. And as I'm doing that, as I'm doing that, I'm watching this corner and this edge because that's my last F2L pair. And they ended up over there. So I can solve them like that. Then I've got an OLL and luckily enough, got a PLL skip, which is nice. Okay, this is a kind of a tricky scramble because there's no obvious uh, cross solution. So we've got one cross edge oriented on orange, one oriented on green. The green cross uh, is going to be kind of hard to execute, not that finger friendly. But if we do, if we go for the orange cross, even though we have three, I guess, bad edges, this one, this one, and this one, they're reasonably straightforward to execute. So we can go, some, we can do something like uh, L prime U prime L to solve those. And then white L, U prime, R, U prime, like that, where the U primes are both wide. So that was, I guess, just 
just kind of a way to solve it, uh, to execute it as quickly as possible. It probably wasn't the most move optimal cross, but uh, it'll do. So first F2L pair that I see are these two, but that would require a rotation to solve into this slot. I also see this corner and this edge. So what I can do is actually set these up and insert them into the back left there. Then I've got this corner and this edge, which I can also insert into this slot. Now, I won't rotate this way because if I rotate this way and solve it, then these two front slots will be filled. So I'm going to rotate this way and solve those and then do these two into this slot next. And also whilst I'm solving these two, I want to be watching this edge and this corner of my last F2L pair. So as immediately after I finish solving it, I can rotate and solve that. Now I've got OLL and then PLL, U permutation. Okay, last solve of this video. Um, looking around, I guess, I guess the cross which has two pieces already solved correctly relative to one another is the blue and the last two blue pieces are going to be pretty easy to insert. So we can do something like uh, D prime R to insert this one and move this one into the middle layer and then do D two F like that. Um, after that, there's not much on offer for my first F2L pair. Um, I guess I would just look at this corner, find its edge here, and then I can do something like R U R prime, rotate R prime U to R, um, which is, it's efficient, but it's not going to be that quick to execute. Then for my next F2L pair, I see this uh, this corner and this edge down here, which can be inserted without a rotation like that to pair it up and insert it there. Then I've got this corner and this edge so I can rotate. And I also notice I've got this blue corner here and its corresponding edges there. So I'll solve that one first and then solve these two. Then OLL and A permutation for PLL. And we're finished.